sponsored by Executive Homes. Julie, did I miss the part about her putting on the wedding dress? Does she have to do it in the stalls in the airplane? I, I think I, I that's I, impressive. Like, I think she had it when she boarded the plane, I think. Yeah. I mean, hey, you're a recent bride. I those mean, would wedding you have... dress is not easy. No. <laughs> not. But she had all those passengers to help, right? They did. They did. I'm surprised they didn't pass out any peanuts. Yeah, you think savers, so? You know. Yeah, for sure. But at least they had their hands on a donut for the wedding cake. So at <laughs> so least they're making cute. Making do. Thankfully, they weren't flying yesterday, Julie, because there was a lot of turbulence going on. Mm -hmm. And we're dealing with uh, just some remnants right now. No severe threats, as you could see. You're looking at probably this green shading just off to the north of Miami, near the Joplin area. That's indicating some flash flood warnings because as this front did push through, through the overnight hours, it did dump a lot of rain in a short amount of time. In fact, it was very brief, but check out these rainfall totals in the short amount of time. Closer to half an inch over in Bartlesville, Bristow. Wow, you're looking closer to almost about three quarters of an inch for you guys. Salisan not getting quite as much, but that's okay. You guys have seen more rainfall. Really needed it to some of our westernmost counties, and that's what we were able to tap into. Saying goodbye to that shelf cloud as we are dealing with cooler temperatures and a clearing. That is some great news to get our Saturday going. Downtown camera at this time this is all part of Wade's RV Weather Camera Network. We're so happy to have you with us this morning. 59 degrees Tulsa. We are at 76 degrees. Believe it or not, as the system was passing through, meteorologist Brandon Woolley was here with me. We were watching these numbers and they were on the uptick about 3, 4 a.m. 76. Now we're down to 59. So that's showing you just how big of a drop those temperatures are. West winds about 11 miles per hour. Dew points in those 50s. I do expect those dew points to come down into those 40s this afternoon. So what does that mean? It's going to feel pleasant out there, but we do have temperatures that will be climbing into the 70s later on. And with that, some upper 70s, lower 80s, we could potentially see sneaky sunburn for today. So if you're going to be outdoors for a long period of time because it's feeling so nice, those UV rays can really get going. So make sure that you apply a little sunscreen or maybe you have a hat with you just as backup. Mostly sunny and breezy for today, not windy, breezy. West winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We're going to keep some periodic gusts pushing about 25 miles per hour. I'm not seeing anything exceeding that. 78, that's where I have its projected seasonal averages, about 75, 76 for this time of the year. Again, we could hit some 80s on here, but with those west winds not out of the south, but more so out of the west, I do anticipate these numbers to be pretty spot on for today. We're going to keep plenty of sun around. Sunset now about 8, 11 in the evening. Overnight lows. A little bit cooler. This is good camping weather. So if you're kind of think of your opportunity before we know we go into those Oklahoma high temperatures, triple digit weather, this is your opportunity to take it if you can. 50 for your overnight seasonal average 54 for this time of the year. In terms of those wind gusts, we're going to keep some around for our Saturday. Sunday's looking fantastic before we start to see those winds returning by Monday. Seven day rain chances. Yes, we're going to go and bring this back because that's a big question. Weekends looking great. We're going to turn off the rainfall. And we're actually going to say dry Monday. We're going to see a spike in that increase. We do have some strong to severe storms and we're going to keep this active weather into midweek next week. Check this out already severe outlook for Monday. So this is day three on that uh, storm prediction center. Let's zoom it in a little tighter. We have a level one. Two and in Tulsa, we're split Tulsa County. That is with the three being a three out of five for potentially stronger storm to develop. So that severe weather potential set in place. We're not done yet. We have additional severe weather potential on Wednesday. Now, will that cap break? We've been talking a lot about the cap and it's all going to depend on if that cap does break that we could see some severe weather outbreaks. So stay with us. Make sure that you have plenty of ways to stay weather aware. Make sure that Storm Shield app. It's free to download 75 for your high on Monday. Temperatures really leveling out, remaining close to those seasonal levels in this extended planner. Julie, I know you love that. And guess what, Julie? I can't wait to extend this out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all the way out that 10 day forecast. Mother's Day Mother's on Sunday. Day. Yes, and Annie will be celebrating her first Mother's Day with that little baby cooking. I mean, like in a your Mother's tummy. Day of a half. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a half day? Sure. <laughs>